2 plus exercise 5. Problem 437. Determine the resultant force and specify where it acts on the beam measured from A. So it's a distributed load because that's how graphically it has been drawn. And there are three separate distributions. Number one is this little rectangle here. Number two is the middle rectangle. And number three is the third rectangle. So what we need to do here, it's a two step process. In the first step, we will reduce this multiple distributions. Let's say this is point A, this is point B. Those are the, those are called supports. This is called support, uh, pin support. This is called roller support. And what we need to do for first is reduce each distribution into its equivalent point load. That's step number one. And step number two is to reduce this multiple point load to a single resultant force. FR. Okay, so let's work on this. To convert distributed load to point load, we need to find the area under the distribution. Now, this rectangle has width 1.5 and height is 6 kilonewton meter. So 6 multiplied by 1.5 gives us the distribution equivalent point load. So this is 6 multiplied by 1.5 and that's kilonewton. For the middle distribution, it's 9 multiplied by this length of the distribution 3 kilonewton and for the third one it's 3 multiplied by 1.5 kilonewtons now the exact location of the distribution if the distribution is trying a rectangle then the resultant point load passes through centroid of the rectangle which is middle point so this x at distance 0 0.75 meters from a this x at distance 1.5 meters from a middle of the rectangle and same with this axis distance 0 0.75 meters from B and this is also 1.5 meters. Okay, so we have calculated the exact location of this distribution and now we need to reduce this distribution to a single point load. So let's first find out the resultant load FR. If we assume going up is positive then these three loads are acting down so resultant force is minus 6 times 1.5 minus 9 times 3 minus 3 times 1.5 so the resultant load is minus 40.5 kilonewtons or i can say 40.5 kilonewtons acting downward okay, that's what we have drawn so this is 40.5 kilonewton and this is a this is b now the question is at what distance from A this load acts? And that is equivalent point system, simplification of equivalent point system that we have studied in the previous topic. So to find the exact location of point load, the total moment of individual forces about point A from this point load should be same as single moment of FR about the same point. So let's write down the equation for moment. So resultant moment at A counterclockwise is positive <clears throat> is equal to sum of moments about point A. So resultant moment at point A is because of this resultant force, which is FR uh, times D, and that's negative because that is clockwise, equal to this moment about this point is counterclockwise. So that is positive. So it's, it's six times load 1.5, times distance, which is 0.75. Then the moments of this two load about point A are clockwise and they are negative. So minus nine times three is just the load, equivalent point load times 1.5. And the last one is minus three times 1.5 times the distance is 3.75 all the way from A. We know the value of FR, which is 40.5. So substitute positive 40.5 here because for moment, we already have considered the direction based on the uh, rotation, which is clockwise. So it's minus 40.5 times D, and then this stays as is. Okay, so this just copy that e equation here. 
So D can be calculated as 1.25 meters. Okay. What this means that this load X at 1.25 meters from A, and that has the same net effect as this entire flag distribution. So we have reduced this distribution to point load and reduce the point load uh, and reduce the point load uh, to a single resultant load and determine the exact location. So next we will work on the second problem. Determine the resultant force and specify its location measured from A on the beam. So we have two types of distribution here. This distribution is triangular distribution. And this distribution is rectangular distribution. Now, regarding the location of the centroid for triangle, if this is triangle, then it's centroid. And if this, this is height of the triangle or length of the triangle, let's call this length of the triangle, then centroid is located at distance one by three of that length measured from the beam or two by three of that length measured from apex okay so remember this uh, location for the centroid uh, of the triangle shape and area of triangle is one half times base times height so if this is height as h then area of is one half times l times h so that's what we need to apply here. The height at, of the distribution is 150 pound foot and the length is given for triangle six feet and for rectangle it's eight feet. So once again, we assume going up is positive, find out the resultant force FR. So FR is one half times six times 150. Uh, that's negative because it's acting down because we assume X going up is positive and minus eight times 150. So the final answer is minus 1650 pounds or we can say 1650 pound acting down. So now we, we always write positive and indicate the direction uh, by arrow. So that's the resultant force. Now the question is where does this resultant force act on the beam? So this is A, this is B. So step number two is this is resultant for this is the force F1 because of triangular distribution, which is one half times six times 150. And this is F2 because of rectangular distribution, which is eight times 150. And the location of this distribution measured from A is two by third of six. And the location of this point relative to this point here which is like this line uh, is four feet so it's four feet and this distance is six feet that is given and this is uh, two by three of six which is four feet okay. so equivalent point system is a b and now the resultant force equivalent point load X at some distance FR, which is 1650, distance D from A. So to calculate this distance, we will apply the moment equation. So moment of F1 and F2 about A should be same as moment of FR about A. Okay. And now, so this is 1650 multiplied by D, that's negative, equal to the moment of this point about both of these forces about point A are also negative. So it's minus um, one half times six times 150 times four minus eight times 150 times distance all the way from this force to point A, which is uh, six plus four, 10. So remember that this is still the force multiplied by distance or moment. This is force multiplied by distance or moment. And D can be calculated as 8.36 feet. So 
we have reduced this entire distribution by a single point load which acts at 8.36 feet from A and its magnitude is 1650 and that has the same net effect as that of this distribution.